This is a reading of the English Wikipedia article, Inherently Funny Word, as it appeared June 5th, 2020, read by me, user Arlo Barnes, on July 10th, 2020. Inherently Funny Word. Certain words have been suggested to be inherently funny. Vaudeville tradition holds that words with the letter K are funny. A 2015 study at the University of Alberta suggested that the humor of certain nonsense words can be explained by whether they seem rude and by the property of entropy, the improbability of certain letters being used together in a word. The philosopher Arthur Schopenhauer posited that humor is a product of one's expectations being violated. Vaudeville words can be found in Neil Simon's 1972 play, The Sunshine Boys, in which an aging comedian gives a lesson to his nephew on comedy, saying that words with K sounds are funny. 57 years in the business, you learn a few things. You know what words are funny and which words are not funny. Alka-Seltzer is funny. You say Alka-Seltzer, you get a laugh. Words with K in them are funny. Casey Stengel, that's a funny name. Robert Taylor is not funny. Cupcake is funny. Tomato is not funny. Cookie is funny. Cucumber is funny. Car keys. Cleveland. Cleveland is funny. Maryland is not funny. Then there's chicken. Chicken is funny. Pickle is funny. Cab is funny. Cockroach is funny. Not if you get him, only if you say him. Richard Wiseman, a professor of the public understanding of psychology at the University of Hertfordshire, conducted a small experiment to determine whether sounds to determine whether words with a K sound were actually considered funnier than others for English speakers. His laugh lab tested the degree of funniness among a family of jokes based on animal sounds. The joke rated the funniest was also the one with the most K sounds. Two ducks were sitting in a pond. One of the ducks said, quack. The other duck said, I was going to say that. Robert Beard, a professor emeritus of linguistics at Bucknell University, told an interviewer that the first thing people always write into his website about is funny words. Beard's first book was The 100 Funniest Words in English, and among his selected words are abswatulate, boyangs, collywobbles, fartlek, filibuster, gongoogle, hemi demi semi quaver, and snollygoster. A 2015 study published in the Journal of Memory and Language examined the humor of nonsense words. The study used a computer program to generate pronounceable nonsense words that followed typical English spelling conventions and tested them for their perceived funniness to human test subjects. The funniest nonsense words tended to be those that reminded people of real words that are considered rude or offensive. This category included four of the top six nonsense words that were rated the funniest in the experiment. Huang, dongle, shart, and fockey. To explain why these words seemed funny, the study's author said, the expectation that you've read or uttered a rude word is raised and then violated because, in fact, it's harmless nonsense. There's a sense of relief, of getting away with it. After removing from consideration the words that seemed rude, another factor was suggested to also be significant. The study's lead author, Chris Westbury from the University of Alberta, suggests that the humor of certain invented words can be explained by the property of entropy. Entropy, specifically Shannon entropy, here expresses how unlikely the letter combinations in certain nonsense words are. The more unlikely the letters are to be used together in English, the more funny the combination is likely to be found. Nonsense words such as rumbus, scrits, and yesmatas, which were created by children's book author and illustrator Dr. Seuss, were found to have less probable letter combinations and to seem funnier than most ordinary English words. According to Westbury, there's actually a consistent relationship between how funny non-words are and how weird they are. The entropy explanation also supports the notion that words with a K in them tend to be more funny, as the letter K is one of the least frequently used letters in the English language. The idea that humor can be predicted by a word's entropy corresponds to the work of 19th century German philosopher Arthur Schopenhauer, who posited that humor is a product of one's expectations being violated. According to Westbury, the reasons puns are funny is that they violate our expectation that a word has one meaning. Violating expectations corresponds mathematically to having a low probability combination of letters, which also makes the word seem particularly funny, according to Westbury. To provide a possible evolutionary ex explanation of these phenomena, 
the authors of the study said that unusual occurrences may be experienced as indicating the presence of potential threats, and that humor may be a way of signaling to others that one has realized that a perceived threat is actually harmless. Westbury said, Strange as it may seem, the same mechanism may be activated when you see an unlikely-looking word or a highly taboo one. You experience relief as you recognize that it's completely harmless. Just a joke. See also, anti-humor, a form of ironic humor involving saying something that is meaningless or not funny when the audience expects it to be funny. Cellar door, a phrase mentioned as an example of a word or phrase that is beautiful purely in terms of its sound without regard for its semantics. Ideophone, words that evoke an idea in sound. Malapropism, the use of an incorrect word in place of a word that sounds familiar. Mondegreen, mishearing or misinterpretation of a phrase as a result of near homophony in a way that gives it a new meaning. Nonsense verse, poetic use of nonsensical words or phrases. Onomatopoeia, a word that suggests a sound that it describes. Sound symbolism, the idea that vocal sounds or phonemes carry meaning by themselves. This has been a reading of the English Wikipedia article Inherently Funny Word. The latest version can be found at en.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash inherently funny word.